G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim. Hope you guys are doing well. We are in our little smelting room here. Things are heating up because we are, yeah, making a whole bunch of stuff. I am going to try and slow things down in the very first half of this episode, I think, because, well, in the previous episode we learned that uh, we actually have access to uh, this thing here, this sap extractor, uh, and I essentially need to make some black metal bars, and uh, I didn't really have any handy on me right now. So we're making all of that, uh, and obviously we're going to then bring, uh, I would say about 15 black metal bars. Yggdrasil wood isn't really too much of an issue, we can always try to find more of that. Uh, while we're out in the Mistlands, but once we have the black metal, we'll obviously sail there. But uh, it'll be a while yet because uh, obviously we've got to, you know, just make all of the stuff right now. Uh, and uh, we're sort of just waiting for all of that to, to come out. Uh, let me just see if I can drop in a few more ores there. Uh, and I might just drop off more of our scrap. Uh, we also came to the realization in the previous episode, and I was, uh, you know, very, very disappointed about it, but uh, apparently copper scrap is, you know, literally just used to make more copper. <laughs> should have known, should have known. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I was sort of getting excited for no reason, but, you know, it's nice to know that there's another source for copper in the Mistlands, though, you know, we probably have a few other copper nodes around the black forests here and probably just in this general vicinity as well that we could probably work on instead of trying to gather up copper from the mistlands but anyway so this verger extractor we're not going to be able to teleport with it so i am going to stash that away into the boat and yeah as i said because we're sort of waiting for stuff to get smelted uh, I figure, you know, things are going to slow down a little bit here in the very first half of the episode. Uh, and I might actually use this time to check on the farm and also the taming going on with the locks that we've got in the plains. So, uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, obviously going to need to grab some more cloud berries and again try to feed it to the locks, all while uh, trying to tend to our harvests, our barley harvests. Uh, so how are things looking here? Oh yes, that's right, we haven't really harvested the rest, have we? Uh, I'm thinking maybe we're probably going to have to um, just replant all of this. I don't even know if we have enough. Hopefully we will, because yeah, I did end up bringing home the barley that I took out last time we were here. That's why it looks so patchy. Anyway, we'll work on this for a little bit. That way, you know, at the very least, things are also growing while we're out and about in the Mistlands trying to explore the place. How much do we have? 66. Yeah, I'm sure this will be enough. Um, you know, before I actually do this, it might not be a bad idea for us to just quickly check on our locks friend here. I can't exactly see it. Normally it's just on the hill. There it is. Just behind the hill. I assume it still has plenty of food to eat. And I just want to also check on what level of tameness it's at. 64%, okay. Still a little bit more to go then. I'm gonna need to try and find some more cloud berries. Try and feed it. Seems like quite a bit over here, so let's just quickly grab all of this. And then we'll, uh, we'll tend to the farm. Uh, 
Okay. 25. That's not a lot, is it? I feel like the loxes go through the cloud berries pretty quickly. Perhaps maybe I want at least a stack. Um, being hunted, apparently. Yeah, I definitely was not expecting this. They could get me if I'm not too careful here. Oh, are they attacking my locks as well? Alright, they didn't stand a chance though. I'm just hoping that they don't attack it further, because uh, obviously they could whittle it down. Alright, well, that gave us plenty of wolf meat to work with whenever we need more wolf meat, but uh, I feel like we may have graduated from the wolf meat, to be honest. Uh, actually, I can always throw that into the uh, obliterator. Okay, so... Um, the Lox is facing me right now, which is not the best. I'll try and drop off some more berries over this side. So one thing that I'm not entirely sure of is whether or not the locks can actually come here and start consuming berries nearby, or if it has to be placed, like, right in front of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% certain on that front. But, I'll just leave it there and hope for the best. I assume it will eventually turn around. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I, I could be wrong. Anyway, let's work on the farm. Okay, so... More barley. Now while I'm doing this guys, I, I do also want to mention that, uh, well... A big thank you, really. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of those who've been, you know, watching the series so far. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys have probably watched even since the very first episode. Uh, and I do appreciate you sticking around, even though there have been a lot of fumbles here and there. <laughs> Plenty of fumbles. Uh, our channel's actually gotten up to a thousand subs, finally. So we're definitely well within the, uh, thousand sub uh, territory, which is super awesome. Obviously, that's been a 
long-term goal ever since I've uh, started the channel and I've finally achieved it so uh, a big thank you to all of you guys watching who have subscribed um, and obviously those of you who haven't as well and you're here just lurking uh, but I really appreciate all you guys sort of taking the time and watching the vids um, a lot of you guys obviously giving me a lot of feedback on stuff to do uh, in the game and yeah generally a lot of people who are out there who are just being really really supportive in the comments as well so I really do appreciate all of you guys uh, being here and watching my content so uh, thank you very much for that guys um, obviously a thousand is not where I'm gonna stop uh, obviously have big big dreams as you should uh, so obviously going to try and double that so 2000 it is uh, but you know if we can get even higher obviously uh, that's exactly where we want to be. Um, we don't have enough barley apparently for this entire field so I'm gonna have to go back and actually fetch some barley from the kitchen and that's fine we'll, we'll do that. Right. Yeah I was gonna mention that uh, as we were sort of feeding the locks but we sort of got interrupted by that little hunt by those wolves. Luckily we managed to defend ourselves pretty alright. I do need to get a little bit more extra food in me though. Okay, hopefully that all grows okay. Um, I don't know if we can maybe fit a few more. I don't know if these will actually grow or not, but that's okay. Could have been maybe a bit of a waste, but that's okay. Right, so time to stash all this stuff. All of the wolf meat. We can always make some more wolf skewers, but I don't exactly need to rush into that. Uh, I definitely need to find more resins to try and put into all of our sconces here. Uh, and that can just simply go there. Yeah, definitely a few things that I can maybe chuck away. I did actually get attacked in the previous episode as well, so um, I'm a little bit concerned at the frequency of attacks happening and I wonder if uh, after getting to a certain point whether or not you would start seeing simply more attacks. Um, very hard antlers. I can't remember where we get those from. Anyway, um, let's check on our black metal. Obviously gonna throw a little bit more in. Yeah, what's going on there? Entirely sure. Something died. All right. Um, grab that, and I think we might have enough. Let me just double check. Oh, uh, might as well grab some wisps here. It's not like we really need too many more wisps, though if I do end up going 
north from where we've landed in the Mistlands, uh, then I guess we might need it. Fairly soon. But we could probably survive with just the Wisp Light here. Okay, I just need one more. But I think we might have one more already by now. Uh, let's just double check on what we've got here. So Yggdrasil, uh, I was going to say roots, but Yggdrasil wood, we're definitely going to need that. And we'll probably need to source some more when we get back there, but yeah, going to make some more coal, I feel. Probably going to have a need for it. Okay, and that's our 15 black metal that we need. Uh, so I'm going to throw that into the ship. Uh, and yeah, we're going to start preparing for another journey. Uh, so what do I want here? I want my chicken. And I want more stews. Blood puddings. Uh... First things first, though, is we're probably going to be sailing, so I don't mind just eating some stew and perhaps maybe some bread to give us a little bit more stamina. Let's take a look at what's required for our main dishes, though. Uh, blood puddings, yep. Yeah. So... Thistle, and blood bags. Let's make some of these. Alright. It's a decent amount, I feel. Uh, and then our chicken. Uh, where is it? Oh, actually, haven't made the salads, have we? Jotun puffs, that's what we're sort of looking for, though. Mist hair supreme. Again, Jotun puffs, we do need a lot of those. Um, uncooked meat platter. Actually, we, we do have that, don't we? Um... Might not be a bad idea to go with some of those instead of the chicken for now. That should speed up the process of us sort of getting back out there. Um, I need serpent meats, like cooked ones though, which I don't think I have, so I'll just throw that there for a second. Okay, grab all of that, let me just quickly run to the boat, we'll just stash this in there, and we need to get back very very quickly, as I don't want to burn any of the serpent meat, obviously. look like they're still cooking away. Alright. Now, what do we need for the actual stews? Mushrooms and honey.
All right, that'll do it. Stash that in there. Okay, and I should maybe keep this here. And I should grab the best rested buff that we can get, really. I have missed our opportunity to sleep, but that's okay, I don't think it's entirely necessary. Um, what I do want to do, though, is perhaps get myself some ingredients for another portal. I feel like it's probably a good idea for us to uh, have a dedicated portal for the Mistlands, so we can just take our unnamed portal with us. So, let's do that. We're gonna need 20 of these, 10 of these, a couple of Certling cores. Let's just double check on that. Yep, looks good. Uh, and I think we're sort of good to go here. Um, there might be some stuff in the boat that I might need want to just take out and stash away. Yeah, okay, we've got some stuff here that I could probably just put into the smelting room and yeah, let's get a move on. Um, I was sort of thinking about whether or not I wanted to slow down and do a little bit of a, a build. Uh, I keep talking about that. Uh, oh, here's another 10. Okay. <laughs> Should I bring some more? I, I may as well, I guess. Um, but yeah, I keep talking about wanting to have a dock. Uh, so that's definitely on the cards when it comes to uh, our next build and I might do that before I start thinking about breaking down the the piggy pen um, Because it is again still questionable as to whether or not I'm going to Get more pigs um, Actually my bad my bad. I I do want uh, Motor so let's go to the stones Ah yes, forgot about that. Uh, speaking of portals, I, I do actually need to to rename one of our portals to what we're going to connect it to when we're there. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll just call this Mist Lands. Yeah, and then that way it's definitely going to connect if we use the same name. And we can then just pick up our unconnected portal, or sorry, our unnamed portal rather. So there we go, 25, so hopefully we can make five of those... Um, uh, those sap collectors or sap uh, extractors provided we can find more of the grazzle wood um, and I'm guessing I actually might need some wood uh, to actually make a, um, a workbench I assume I need a workbench to make the uh, the sap extractors Anyway, let's get out of here.
All right, off we go. We've still got 17 minutes on both of our standard foods there. That's okay. Um, oh, in hindsight, I should have grabbed the rest of our wisps. Uh, I suppose that's not too much of an issue right this moment, because I can always just teleport back when, um, when we arrive, so that's the plan. Uh, and I've uh, I've just realized our tools also need a little bit more repairing again something that we can address when we set up our portal so we do have that portal near the fort but with the discovery that the copper scrap isn't exactly that valuable uh, I may actually just uh, dismantle that portal so I'll put another portal down, connect that to the Mistlands one at home. Uh, and then from there... Um, well, I suppose maybe I want to experiment with placing down the sap extractors first. Uh, and seeing how that goes. I assume there is some form of waiting before the sap extractors do their thing. So in the meantime, we can then run back to this portal, grab that. Uh, and then go back because we know where the location of those roots are and I think there might be a little bit more around here as well so um, yeah I guess it depends on how many locations we want to set up the uh, the sap extractor from again I'm making a, a big assumption that that's what the sap extractors are going to be used for but <laughs> I could be completely wrong. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know about the blood puddings anymore. I, I feel like maybe we should try to make some salads when we get the chance. It's just uh, I haven't really seen too many of those Jotun puffs. So in hindsight, I feel like maybe I should have... Um, I should have marked down where we found it the first time. Because I think that they regrow in the same spot. I'm not going to worry about this uh, this serpent, to be honest, guys. Um, I'm just going to lose it. They actually do look quite terrifying, don't they? If you sort of take the time to look at them up close. Yeah, he's had enough. And I am really wishing that there was a, a little pathway over here that we could just go through. I suppose it's not entirely impossible to 
dig around this area and make a pathway if you really wanted to, but... I don't know if I really want to be spending that time doing that. So I remember the first time we sort of saw these Yggdrasil roots and I asked the question uh, about what that is and someone in the comments basically said, oh, it's Yggdrasil roots. Um, but I wonder if that actually connects somewhere uh, in the world. I mean, if you look into the distance off that way, for example, it feels like it goes down back to, quote unquote, the... Uh, the Earth. I mean, it's not exactly the Earth, is it? Uh, we're in the... the tenth world, so whatever this place is. Yeah, uh, maybe it is connected to the Mistlands. Which makes you wonder whether or not you could actually climb it. Because if you could climb it, that, that's actually kind of cool. I'm thinking if we sail further down here, we might find a few more mistlands. I think this is the first place we found the mistlands. It was really rocky though, so you couldn't exactly uh, park the boat there and try to try to make landfall. So, but perhaps maybe this area might connect to it. I don't know. Could be worth investigating. Alright, I think we're getting pretty lucky here with the wind, because we were sort of skirting it quite a bit before, but now that we're going to make this turn, hopefully the wind will be behind us quite a bit. And I think I'm just going to land in the same area. 
as before, guys. There's no reason for us to move. Um, also, kind of familiar with the area as well, so I think that really helps when we're, you know, in a bit of a bind. We had, like, a lot of enemies to face, for example. I sincerely do hope that there is nothing uh, that I need to grow specifically in the Mistlands. Um, but we did pick up those flowers recently. The one that restores Eater. Uh, I forget what they're called, but I think you can actually grow them. I just don't know if they'll grow in any other biome similar to how the barley and the flax don't grow in any other biome except for the plains. We'll have to see, I guess. Actually, come to think of it, I don't know if uh, plain veggies like turnips, onions, and carrots, whether or not they would grow in any other biome either. Um, I wonder if you could actually grow, you know, like, if if I have a farm, obviously, in the plains, whether or not I can actually switch that farm over to grow something else that's not native to its biome. Not that I would do it, but, you know, just a, a curious sort of question. I think we're gonna make it without too much trouble here. So I think I'm gonna definitely go and teleport back immediately, switch to bone mass, because that's going to definitely help us in the Mistlands. Uh, it'll probably also be really dark when we get there, so that's a little bit concerning. I wonder if it might not be a bad idea for us to land on the plains first. Although that can be just as bad with the uh, two star fullings being a, a, a bit of an issue. Now, I actually don't have any plain wood to set up a workbench, but I think we might still have the workbench set up over there, right? Sort of secretly hoping. <laughs> into rocks. Uh, let's not mess around here. I'm gonna eat.
Um, yeah, let's try and get in a tiny bit closer. We might be beached. Pretty badly. Um. Okay, there's the other roots that I want to try and interact with. Of course, okay. <laughs> okay, here we are. Yep, and the workbench is still here as well, which is good. Let's get our portal set up immediately. Great, okay. Immediately going back and repairing all of our tools. Gonna also have a sleep. We'll pick up more wisps as well. Okay, 22 minutes. Love the look of that. Let's head down. Fix all our stuff and... Yeah, it's time to do what we came to the Mistlands to do. Which is... Oh, um... I do want to go to the stones, don't I? What about that? Let's, let's just quickly resolve that first, because if we do get attacked, I want at least something to give me a bit of an advantage. Plus, we're at 30 seconds before our powers return. All 
All right. my bad it should be that but we'll go back to the mist lands right so this is where we start thinking about our sap extractors so again I, I have a feeling that we can only make the one because we only have the one uh, verger extractor needle thingy. <laughs> Again, don't really know the technical term for it. Hang on. Um, there it is. And this fog really makes you feel like you're lost sometimes. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's grab five of these. And we do have enough Yggdrasil wood, though I would like to get some more. Let's just quickly cut this down. Probably not a bad idea to make ourselves another one of these uh, wisp torches. Oh no, okay. No, we want to deal with, we want to deal with eols first. And um, yeah, I don't like it being so close to our boat. I try and lure it this way. I need more arrows as well. I see, I see, okay, I've learnt something new there, but, um, if you can get right under it, there is a soft underbelly that you could try and work with, uh, to try and 
bring it down a little bit faster. So I have to keep that in mind. Okay, but we are very close to zero arrows. Well, I mean, we have 20, but that's, that's probably not enough if we do come across another one. So I need to be ready. I'll probably go back immediately after this. Um, yeah, we need a workbench. Let's get one. First things first is one of these. And then a workbench just over here. All right, now. Sap extractor. Extracting zero out of 10. Right, so I'm gonna have to come back obviously. Uh, what's the best way to get here from the other side? Maybe through, through here? I'm gonna get ourselves maybe another one of these. Yeah, we should be able to climb up and down the, uh, the mountain, or the rock face pretty easily, I think. Alright, heading back, and let's just focus on making some arrows for the moment, and then I'll come back and see if we can, uh, go to our portal sitting near the fort. I feel like I've been making arrows like crazy recently. I'm not entirely sure how many needles we have. Not too much, actually. So we might need to explore the plains a little bit, kill those death skeetos, uh, purely for getting more needles. I wonder if black metal arrows, if if they're better against uh, everything in the Mistlands. Is black metal arrows, are they even a thing? Maybe they're not. Silver arrows pierce 52 as opposed to... Needle arrows appears 62. So, yeah, we kind of have the best arrows for the job, I feel. Just gonna need more ingredients for it. Okay. File bags. Uh, there we go. And I haven't figured out what the bile bags are for, but. Throw that in there and a little bit more. The 
looking good. So let's head to our other portal. I'm gonna quickly break that down and then we're gonna return to the site of where the boat is. Then we're gonna try and make a decision on what to do next from there. Let's take that. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab what I can from here. Where's the, um, the workbench? There we go. Actually, you know what? Maybe might need some of this basic wood. So, might not be a bad idea to just keep it. Bits and pieces of marble everywhere. And more copper scrap, obviously. That's okay, I'll leave the chest there. Again, I'm gonna have to dump that into... the, uh, the boat. Well. Let's get a move on then. So it should be easiest if we sort of circle around this way. Now with the uh, game giving us so much sources of copper at this point, I'm wondering whether or not there's going to be like uh, a bigger need for more copper at some point. Oh my god. That one almost killed us. Alright, good, good. <laughs> and it is quite stressful going against these uh, seekers. Especially the soldiers. At least the soldiers don't fly around. And they're, uh, they're definitely a little bit more predictable, I feel. Okay, we've got some rogues. Ah, here we are. Familiar territory. Okay. Uh, I'll circle around this way. And yeah, I want to maybe work my way back to the extractor and see how it's going. I've uh, forgotten to mark down where these roots are. So I should do that.
Very good. All right, so we've got eight out of ten. That was actually quite quick. Uh, I don't exactly have any space in my inventory right now, though. So let me just fix that problem very quickly. And I just want to grab some of the sap and see what that's going to unlock for us. Okay, looks good. Um, I might store our portal ingredients in here. Hopefully we can teleport with whatever this sap is. Sap, crafting recipe, bile bomb. Uh, I think I saw a couple of different types of mead there. So interesting. Okay, cool. And then this thing restarts its extracting then. So when it gets to 10, we can then get another 10, I suppose. Cool. I better bring that home right now, and then we'll uh, probably experiment with uh, all of the unlocks in the next episode here. So let's quickly teleport. Alright, and I think that's going to be the episode for now, guys. We'll probably take a break here, and when we come back, we'll take a look at what this sap is all about. Try and craft the things that we can craft from it. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier for us in the Mistlands. But uh, aside from that, there hasn't exactly been anything too groundbreaking if, uh, if we've only unlocked meads and foods and stuff. Uh, so I'm thinking of maybe just continuing our exploration further north from around here. Uh, we know where the bones are, uh, and plus I've got our portal back, so I should be able to, um, you know, portal around pretty quickly when I need to. Um, speaking of portals, I should mark down where the Mistlands portal is. Like so. But anyway, guys, I am going to be signing out here. Again, thank you very much, guys, uh, if you've been here uh, for as long as the series has been around. I do appreciate all of your support, all of your views, all of the likes, and, uh, of course, all of the very supportive comments as well. As usual, guys, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.